Hey, I'm Tom Holland and I'm going undercover on the internet. Let's begin. When you say drop, do you mean I should stop doing it? Or I should drop a video? Because if you want me to drop a video, it's been shot. I don't actually have one. I'm just so lucky that I have amazing makeup artists that I see almost every day for work and they look after me really well. I drink tea, darling, because that would be um, treason. Well, I hope that doesn't happen because I would love to share the screen with Miles. I think that'd be really cool. Um, and I don't want to die because I really love playing Peter Parker. Posted. I don't think I have an American accent. I talk like I'm from London, but I say trousers here in England. Um, so I'll say American words. Not that those aren't English words, but this is not true at all. I played for the Arsenal Vets once, and that's not because I'm good at football, it's because they were short of that many players. Um, I am a fan of a football club, but I will not tell anyone what it is because I don't want to make people angry. Um, you could probably guess who it is if you are a football fan. Uh, but I've kept that pretty secret, I don't know why, but no one really knows. So me being a fan of Arsenal is not true. So, never heard of Quora. Don't know what that is, but let's explore it. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. Oh, that's really nice. Thank you, Quora. It's my new favorite website. Yes, in Toby's one, it comes out of his wrists. He must have like little holes in his wrists, which is kind of gross. And he presses a little button and it sprays out of his wrist. And, uh, and also when he clicks it, a, f a horn blows out the back. <laughs> hmm. Uh, because it makes me more interesting, I guess. Gives me more room to grow. If you start out a badass, you could, there's nowhere to go. I don't know. I learned acrobatics way before doing Spider-Man. I did gymnastics from when I was a little kid in the show called Billy Elliot. And then I just kept it up while I was just kind of messing around. And then I was lucky enough to get Spider-Man and it's been super helpful. Well, I wouldn't be as good as my friend Robert Patterson. He's gonna kill it as Batman. I don't even know if that's actually true. Is he actually playing Batman? Yeah. He is? That's sick. He's gonna kill it. Um, and I wouldn't want to go up against him because he's a bit of a beast. I'd have to say Spider-Man Far From Home. I think that's my best work. I've like grown a lot as an actor through the years and I've played lots of different types of roles, but Spider-Man Far From Home was like the first time I got to play a character who, who was exploring so many different crazy things. Um, so I'd have to say that's my best work that I'm most proud of. <laughs> I'm sure she thought it was, it was pretty mediocre. It is a romance. We are in love. He is my husband. And um, and we're really happy together. I miss him so much. Anyway, wow, well, I can't read. I'm dyslexic, by the way, so this is stressing me out massively. There is already a bromance between Spider-Man and Mysterio, um, so I wouldn't want to break that up. Things are going really strong for Mysterio. What would you? What would be our stand name? Miss Spider Mysterio Man. I know all about Instagram. I like Instagram, but I am going to delete my Instagram. Not like get rid of my, but I'm going to delete the app because I need to take a break from social media. It's taking over my life a little bit. It's going. After this interview, I'm going to do it. Spies in Disguise is a really, really cool movie. When they pitched me the idea, it was a no-brainer. It was something I really wanted to be a part of. Will Smith and I, and it is really funny. And I'm, I'm seeing it, what's the date today? I'm seeing it in two days. Well, me too. That would be sick. Well, it is improvised because basically we did a long improvise and it wasn't great, but it sparked a great idea. And then we reworked the scene and then this was born. So for example, if I was like in a scene and I was talking to someone and the undertone of the scene was that I love them, I would say in my head, I love you so much, I love you so much, I love you so much, I love you so much. And then it like, it just kind of brings up emotion. And in that scene, it was, I don't want to go. And I just thought I would say it out loud and it works. It's really good in the film. I don't know why I'm supposed to be a kid from Queens, um, but we've dubbed it. So you can't hear the accent, but I think you could probably spot the mistake. So that is my challenge to you, chilling Spidey. Um, go and see if you can find that moment. Well, I've been sleeping a lot recently. I've been drinking a lot of water. And I'm feeling okay. Yeah, sure, I am. Yeah, we're doing it next fall. It's gonna be massive. We're all, yeah, totally, we're totally doing it. The question asked was, do you think there should be a gay Spider-Man? I think that would be a very progressive way to kind of create a new character. Um, so yeah, I don't see, I think there should be one day. 
and I hope that I get to share the screen with that person. No, I don't, because when I grow facial hair, it's disgusting. And I really look like I should be on a wanted poster. It is not good.